Hi everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite creative tutorial that will show you how you can create a cutscene or a rudimentary cutscene in Fortnite Creative 1.0, the original Fortnite Creative. Of course, in Fortnite that is 2.0 or Fortnite Creative 2.0, which is UEFN or Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you have loads of options when it comes to camera actors and creating more complex cinematics. In this case, you're a bit more limited, but I'm going to show you a workaround that can present you with a kind of single shot cinematic that you can still use to provide your players with information, especially at the start of your game. So in this case, let's say that I want to point my players when I, they start this match towards this statue right here. So I want them to see it better and to understand that this is kind of the main objective. How do I do that? Well, I already have a setup ready to go or set up that it will provide the same cinematic. The first thing I'm using here is the camera fixed point device. And the second element I have here is a timer device. So let's see what I do with the customize options of the camera fixed point camera. I didn't change basically anything I simply stated that this is going to be the showcase, it's going to look exactly or directly at the camera, at the statue, and here I will add it to the player once the player is spawned. So once the player is spawned, the player spawner will start the camera by adding it to the player. There is a timer device that is counting down for 3 seconds and once successful it will remove the camera from the player. So the idea is that I kind of get into the game, this activates the camera and activates the timer as you'll see here. I'm going to edit it and I set it to duration of 3 seconds to count down and we can see all the changes here the countdown is from 3 seconds, it's hidden in the game and it's not showing on the HUD. But this is the important element. On success, it's again sending a signal to the camera saying that it should be removed from the player. So, once I get into the game, the camera is turned on, I see my statue for several seconds, then the timer triggers its success, or well, counts to zero, and turns off the camera. So let's see that in the game itself. I'm going to go for start and we're going to enter the match and here it is, the game is starting, I have my cinematic and once those 3 seconds are done, I'm back at my original player spot or player position. Of course I could add additional elements there like add blocks of text or something else, but the idea is really simple, really clear, you simply add a particular camera to the player and then define the moment when you want it turned off or removed from the player. It's not going to provide you with a lot of options, it's not going to allow you to make cinematics that are complex or multi-shot, even though you could do that for the sequence of cameras and sequence of timers, but still it can allow you to present something to the players that is not in their vicinity but could be on the completely different side of the map in a really easy, elegant and straightforward manner just like a single shot or single setup, single camera setup for a standard cinematic sequence. There you have it, very simple, very easy to do, very straightforward, not very flexible, not very omnipotent in the sense what it can do, but still pretty useful. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you found this tutorial useful, hopefully you found it interesting, if you did please consider supporting me through a range of means, you can check out my Patreon page on Patreon, you can check out my channel memberships, you can check out my books on Amazon, including my best selling book that can help you overcome wasting time, links to that are in the description below, but of course the cheapest, fastest, easiest way to support me, just subscribe to my channel, leave a like and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thanks so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on my next clip, until then, bye bye.